Hello again, Mr. Hovind. Before I get into any detail about your legal issues, I would like to frame this video with a little context. Firstly, this video is outside my area of expertise and was extremely difficult to make, which is why a lot of information will not be in extreme detail and will be condensed and sourced. Secondly, Robert Beatty is a good friend of mine, and if anybody watching disagrees with any of the information I'm about to put out, please contact Robert Beatty via his Facebook page referenced at the end of this video. I am not the person to talk to extensively about Kent's legal issues. This video was primarily made for three reasons. One, to expose Kent's fraudulent behavior. Two, for a friend who requested this video. And three, to compensate for all the wasted time I spent preparing for a debate that you never intended on following through with, Mr. Hovind. Now, I know that spending my time to make this video to get back at you for wasting my time doesn't really make much sense. However, I contend that unlike the wasted material I accumulated in the eight days I waited for a response, this information will be utilized against you, and hopefully will be another nail in the coffin for displaying your dishonest behavior. This video will not be as entertaining as my previous videos. It is outside my social norm, so please, bear with me. There will also be a sneak peek of Matt's Sunday School Smackdown at the end of this video. As always, enjoy. Kent Hovind, synonymous with dishonesty. <laughs> After being involved with something as extensive as Kent's legal issues, I was honestly left in something of a stupor. I mean, I've read the guy's dissertation, and yet, there's just something extremely ironic about how he complains about paying taxes to support evolution in schools. I'd like to introduce you to Robert Beatty, a man who has been extensively following the Kent Hovind case for a long time. Robert is going to very briefly explain the Kent Hovind IRS case, and when I say briefly, I mean briefly. There was so much information I was unable to include primarily because I am too inexperienced to be covering it. If you desire to learn more, there will be a link into his Facebook page at the end of this video, as well as the extensive material I have accumulated from Robert over the course of my research. And yet, even in his most recent videos, he's proclaiming that he, his case is just exactly like the cases popularized by the media involving structuring and IRS enforcement policies and efforts and that is simply false. His case is factually and legally distinguishable from what's been in the media. What, what, so what would you say is the crux of, of uh, his problem? Like what brought him down? He's a apart from the religious angle he uses he's a common enough tax cheat. He, he has gone publicly claiming he never filed income tax returns and that seems to be true. He doesn't report his income and he got into structuring and the employment tax issue and he's done everything a good sovereign citizen would do to thwart the IRS enforcement efforts and he needs it to be called to account in stronger terms. The, the nine years he spent in jail recently in federal custody doesn't seem to have made a believer out of him and he seems intent on pursuing uh, that course. So they determined he structured $400,000 or so in monies and so imposed a penalty of that and since he couldn't write the check or wouldn't write the check at that time they substituted the property and forfeited the property to the government in exchange for that 400,000 plus uh, penalty for structuring. And they've been selling it off uh, piece by piece, much of it having been bought back by Eric and the other Hovine family members. There should be full disclosure. Tell the whole world about him and all the details about what's going on with Kent Hovind. And now that he's out, and in supervised release for three years, it appears to me he's gone underground and doesn't really want people to know what he's doing. However, despite Robert's efforts, Kent and his ilk have painted Robert as a troll, including yours truly. As you will see, 
Kent and his followers have only lackluster ad hominems in their arsenal to defend themselves from Robert's substantiated accusations. To themselves. Nobody else pays attention to them. One guy, Robert, somebody on the uh, wrote a bunch about the IRS. You know, his little blog that he wrote had like six people reading it until he started attacking Hovind. Whoa, now he's got a hundred people reading it and he's all excited. He's important now. Because <laughs> a hundred people, because he's a, he can't do anything on his own. He's an absolute moron. This Robert Beatty guy who has this Facebook page, he's, he's a troll beyond trolls. The guy is a weird stalker who's mentally ill. Uh, I mean, I, I can't begin to tell that. I mean, the guy puts out all kinds of weird stuff about... Uh, he's just a weird guy. Okay, but he, but because he attacks me, oh, now he's famous. <laughs> okay, enjoy yourself, Robert. Enjoy yourself, Robert. What does Kent have to offer as an explanation, you ask? Absolutely nothing. Kent Hovind instead attempts to throw off the unsuspecting public by portraying a false narrative. There simply was no way to commit a crime by mailing it. I agree. It also can't be a crime to take your own money out of your own bank to pay your own bills in any amount. <laughs> Why is that a crime? Who passed that stupid law and fix it? Wow, I didn't trust you. So I googled your name. This is the moment I felt it. I read a headline that you were just released from prison after nine years for structuring. Yeah. <laughs> One of the dumbest laws in the history of humanity. You take your own money out of your own bank to pay your own bills and you go to jail for 10 years. And they seize the money. Oh, just check up on uh, freekenthoven.com or uh, I think what happened in my case was pure government tyranny. I do not think I did one thing wrong. Didn't break a single law. And I went to prison for a 10 year sentence, served nine years on it. And I, I asked that same question, what law did I break? What did I do that was wrong? Somebody please show me. I would like to see specifically what I did that was wrong. <clears throat> and I'm sure what's his name, uh, what's his name, Batman or something like that, he'll he'll figure out something to, uh, <laughs> well, Hovind did the hip photo to put off. You know, it's interesting, I read his uh, blog. Uh, before he started writing about me, he had like three followers. So his only claim to fame is debunking Hovind. Okay, well, show me exactly what I did wrong. As you can see, Kent Hovind is far from honest about his taxes. All the evidence you see here will be in the description. Uh, I believe the Big Bang Theory has been busted. And so, you know, get ready, academia. <laughs>